Dialysis is complicated, but this video is going to make dialysis simple. When you first come to dialysis, whether you're a patient or a nurse or a dialysis tech, some of the phrases that we use sound like a foreign language. And by watching this video, you'll, you'll become more comfortable with some of the phrases. And this video's topic is UF only. Like what? If you work with me, you heard me say, oh, put them in minimum UF. Oh, I put them in minimum UF. Oh, what's their UF? And you're just like, what is Lindsay? talking about uf means ultra filtration so minimum uf means minimum ultra filtration and then you'll also hear me say oh they're coming in for an extra treatment tomorrow uf only so now we have minimum ultra filtration and we have only ultra filtration so that's both sides of the spectrum well like what is uf only let's let's talk a little bit more about that let's review the dialysis machine does three main things it corrects electrolyte imbalances it removes waste products and it removes fluid. And UF ultrafiltration is the removal of fluid, okay? So whenever you hear UF, think removal of fluid. So then if I have minimum UF, I have minimum removal of fluid. And if I have UF only, I have only removal of fluid. And you'll also, also notice some changes with the machine when they're in UF only, the machine gets quiet because now the only thing that we're doing with that machine is removing fluid. So now the part of the machine that corrects the electrolyte imbalances and removes the waste products from the blood, that's turned off. So you'll start with a full bicart and a full jug of acid and at the end of the treatment, they'll, they'll still be full because we're not using that part of the machine. Why would somebody come in for UF only? Why would people do that? Why wouldn't we just do all three? And the dialysis machine is so amazing that we can turn off these two things and we can just remove fluid. Patients that will need to come in for an extra treatment are people that have too much fluid. So instead of coming in for treatment three times that week, they're going to come in for a fourth one. And we know that dialysis can cause a lot of fatigue for our patients. So by eliminating these two parts of the machine and only doing removal of fluid, there's less fatigue and people tend to tolerate the fluid removal better. And what I mean by that is they have less cramping, they have less low blood pressures, there's less nausea or vomiting, and it's they go home and they have less fatigue. I would say good candidates for this like UF only treatment removal of fluid only treatment are candidates that don't miss treatments they always show up for their treatments because I it's been my experience that some patients that might miss treatments if I try to get them to come in for an extra treatment there's a little bit of an education barrier there's like kind of like a knowledge gap where they won't show up for then their regular scheduled treatment so now I remove their extra fluid from their body but I didn't remove any of their waste products and I didn't remove any of their electrolytes like the potassium and the potassium we know when it gets too high it is very lethal for the patient so even though we might have some patients that come in for an extra treatment only certain ones will be uf only and then other patients will be regular hemodialysis and that's up to the provider when you talk to them about like hey so and so is up on a lot of fluid they're having a lot of symptoms they're short of breath they have a lot of swelling they don't think that they can catch up to their dry weight by the end of the week can they come in for an extra treatment and the provider will be like yep that's fine and then my next question is should we do regular HD? So regular HD is where we correct electrolytes, remove waste products, and remove fluid. So should we do regular HD or should we do UF only or fluid removal only? And those are my thoughts on UF only dialysis treatments. I'll see you next time.